great to see you here again. In this session, I will cover the topic of risk management and some tools related to it. As this is a short introduction into project management, I cannot cover all elements related to risk management, unfortunately. Projects relate to unique ventures, and this, of course, means that there are many uncertainties or risks that can have an impact on the project, and it is an important part of project management and the last topic we will cover in this section, and it is also the last step of the project planning. In this session, I will start with defining risk and risk management in project management, the risk management cycle, and will describe in more details risk identification, qualification and quantification. When we manage projects, we also have to take into account the possible risk events that can happen and take the necessary precautions where possible and evaluate the overall risk level of the project. At the end of the session, I will explain how to determine the expected monetary value of a risk and how to calculate the contingency reserve. An important element to consider is that risk in project management is not only about negative effects or threats that may endanger the project, but we also consider the positive effects or opportunities that can improve the project outcome and have an effect of, on at least one of the project objectives. When we look at risk management in particular, we can say that it relates to the processes, tools and techniques that are used to deal with risks. Some people imagine that when we talk about risk management that we are considering creating risks. Of course, that is not true. Risks exist and we have to find ways to reduce or delete negative risk events and increase or enhance positive risk events in order to guarantee project success. Although risk management is important, we should always keep in mind that whatever risk methods we'll, we will be using, they should always be proportional to the needs and the value of the project. Larger projects will need a more advanced risk management than smaller projects, but it also depends on the nature of the projects. The risk management process describes the different process steps that will be completed related to risk. The first risk is plan risk management. In this step, all the basic definitions and guidelines, techniques, tools and principles are described. This can be defined in general as part of the project management methodology of the company, but they also will have to be adjusted to the specific needs of the actual project. Risk planning includes, amongst others, calculation methods, the probability and impact matrix, risk impact levels, frequency of meetings, reviews and reports. The next step in the process is about risk identification. In this step, we will identify the risks, both threats and opportunities. Each risk will be characterized, which includes a short description of the risk, the impact, the probability, the time horizon and other relevant parameters as described in the risk management planning. Once the risks have been identified and characterized, we will, we will conduct the risk qualification. Here we will evaluate the risks based on impact and probability and identify the risks that will have to be quantified, monitored and accepted. The risk that we selected in the qualification process will now get quantified and we will calculate the financial impact on the project. Plan responses is about planning risk responses to deal with the selected and quantified risks. Once the project starts, these planned responses will be implemented. Implement responses is about implementing the planned responses. And the last step is control risk. Here we will evaluate how well the risk management plan is working and what improvements have to be implemented to increase efficiency or deal with unexpected events. Let us now have a bit deeper look into risk identification, qualification and quantification. Risk identification is about identifying what risks, threats and opportunities can have an impact on the project. All identified risks will be entered in the risk register and it will also contain information about the impact and probability, the time horizon of possible occurrence of the risk, a risk owner and other useful information. Risk qualification is about ordering the risks from high to low importance. Each risk has an impact score and a probability of occurrence. All identified risks can be located in the probability and impact matrix, 
where we can identify three different zones. Risk with high impact and high probability will be in the top zone, and these are the risks that we will have to develop risk plans for. Risks with low impact and probability are in the lower zone, and we will just accept these. We will not prepare any plans for these types of risks. Between the two zones, there is a zone of risks with medium impact and probability. These risks can become important depending on the evolution of the project. It is important that we monitor the behavior of these risks and adjust the risk plans when necessary. The last element here is the risk quantification. Once we identify the important risks, we can calculate the monetary impact on the project, also referred to as expected monetary value or EMV. During risk quantification, we will determine the expected value and expected monetary value of each risk. The expected value of a risk is defined as the probability multiplied with the impact. Consider that there is a probability of 30% that the project or activity will be 20 days late. Then the expected value is 0.3 times 20, which is equal to 6 days. Another example would be that there is a risk that the project will cost $100,000 more with a probability of 10%. Then the expected value is $10,000. Once we have the expected value, we can determine the expected monetary value by multiplying the expected value with the cost. Let us assume that in our example with the delay, each day we have a delay cost $1,000. Then the expected monetary value of that delay will be equal to $6,000. On the other hand, where we have the expected value of $10,000, since we already are using a monetary value, the expected monetary value is equal to the expected value. The last element related to risk management is the calculation of the contingency reserve. This is per definition the sum of all expected monetary values that we calculated before. I still have to add an important item to this slide. When we look at the expected value or expected monetary value, we multiply the impact with the probability. But when the risk event actually happens, the actual impact will occur and the probability becomes 100%. In the two examples I showed before, when the risk events are occurring, the real delay will be 20 days with a total cost of $20,000 and not 6 days and $6,000. This was the last video of section 5. You are doing a great job, there is only one section to be completed before we can review the content and take the quiz. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next section and session.